Hey everybody, welcome back to another... Wow, that was immediate. We're doing another Ravnica Remix draft here on magicthegathering.internet slash live dot internet dot live dot com. And uh, we're gonna... We're doing... Uh, this is actually pretty sweet because it's just like basically drafting all the Ravnica sets together. Mike is gonna be here shortly. He went to Starbucks to go get some drinks. Uh, I kind of like just taking exalt, angelic exaltation here and trying it out. Uh, it doesn't commit us to multicolors. Law Mage's Binding is also very good. Summary Judgment's pretty okay. Final Payment's good. Blade Juggler is great. But I don't know, man. Exaltation could just be very, very good. We just go wide and just get one floaty boy and have it go do the thing. I don't know. This guy's this, this it's interesting because when you have the two sets mixed together, there's a lot harder of picks. Cause I don't know how to compare like Sunworm Sun Sunhome Stalwart to a card like Law Mage's Binding, say. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go I'm we're gonna we're gonna go try some fun stuff. Hmm. And raise four Remember how good Glaive of the Guild Pack was in the old draft? I do. Screw the Critics and Sky Knight Legionnaire and an End Rays Forerunners and a Glaive of the Guild Pack and an Intervention. This pack is actually stacked. Yeah, so the thing is, like, once you... Like, the, the orders aren't that complicated. Like, even co the most complicated order is really simple once you've been there for a little while. Uh, this is pretty dependent on us getting a bunch of gates, which I'm not sure we will at this juncture. We probably will, but I don't want to guarantee it. I really like Sky Knight Legionnaire. I'm going to take that. And I want to take this other Sky Knight Legionnaire as well, because that's pretty cool. Another Skewer the Critics as well. Good lord. T. Bombadil, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Preach, as it were. I'm going to take double Sky Knight Legionnaire. Skewer the Critics is great. It's very, 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 very good, but I don't know. Uh, we could take the Guildgate and go Mardu. We can take Oligarch and go Mardu. We can take Trollbred Guardian, which is really strong, and go Naya. We could just take the Gateway Plaza. <laughs> I guess everyone knows where this is going by now. I don't think that I don't think that detracts from it though, you know? I think it's still good. Maybe we'll do some Starlight, Starlight, Starbright after this. Um, it's I think it's either Guildgate, Summary Judgment, or Oligarch. I think Summary Judgment's good enough that we can just take it and stay in these two colors if we want to. If you want to. Same thing with this Summary Judgment. I don't really feel like Oligarch or Blade Instructor are good enough to to betray our, our pick'ems. Uh, another oligarch. Okay, so the oligarchs are actually non-stop now. I'm gonna take an oligarch here. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. It's an... Oh, another oligarch. This is an unreal amount of oligarchs. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Why would he lie about the oligarchs? He wouldn't. He said he's gonna be honest with you guys. Blade Instructor, that's fine. That actually pumps an oligarch. Hmm. Final payment is Naisu. I could probably take a Footlight Fiend or a Summary Judgment as well, but... Come on, Rakdos Guild Gates. Danny DB, I was referring to the Starfield Enchantress deck. Come on, man. Get it together, my dude.
I guess we're just taking Footlight Fiend. This is a really late Aeromunculus. It's kind of ridiculous. I think we're just taking Footlight Fiend. Uh, take Heart's pretty good. I don't foresee us uh, surveilling very much. I'll just take the Trick. Oh my god, Jiminy Boz, come on, buddy. Get it together. I actually don't hate this guy. It's probably Noxious Grudion. It's the rim. Remember the time we had Mirror March in Arena and we kept doing the uh, the flips to get our, our Gate Colossus, but it never worked? Yeah, my dude. Mardu. Mardu, my dude. Mardu, my, my dude. Knight of Autum. Knight of Autum. I'm going to take the direct current because that's pretty pretty gas. That was a, an extremely easy pick. We do need a lot of fixing here, though. We're looking for Rakdoses and Orzhovs and Boroses. You know what's up. Found one. Ooh, but light up the stage. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, what a revolting development this is. Do I just have to take the light up the stage? I kind of feel like I do. I think I do. We have two packs to get uh, to get guild gatos. I passed better removal? What does that mean? What was the better removal? Did I just not see it? Maybe. Uh, Deadly Visit is double black. So, like, I'm not really... It's also five mana. So it kind of increases our curve quite a bit. Deadly Visit is... F are you guys talking about Deadly Visit or Price of Fame? Those are two different cards. Price of Glory is rather, rather what I meant. Um... There were two of those in there? Oh wow, that was a that was a mispick. That was just my bad then. I totally I was totally looking for red white cards, I think, so. Okay, so so both both were not in there, right? Like yeah, price of price of price of fame was in there. Wow. All right. Well, I think I mean I like direct current more than more than deadly visit, but I like price of fame more than direct current. So, uh, this guy's actually probably fine. I don't think we're taking healer's hawk here. Oh, a scorch mark and a grotesque demise. I think I like scorch mark better just because it's cheaper um, because oligarchs what does that mean because you can't go turn two oligarch and turn through direct current I got you I mean, we can if we have a guild gate. Oh, I like Inescapable Blaze a lot. I also like Hired Poisoner quite a bit. What are guild gates is right. I feel like Inescapable Blaze is just too good to pass on. Oh, um, well, I feel the same way about a second inescapable blaze. Although I do want this Orzhov guild gate. I'm going to take second inescapable blaze because I'm greedy as hell. Righteous Blow, has to Marshal, Consign to the Pit. I'd be much more inclined to take Consign if we didn't just take double inescapable blaze. I think Dead Rebels is actually probably fine for us. 
Okay, another underskitty under scavenger. Boros Guild Gate comes back. I am thrilled about that. Maybe the Orzhov Guild Gates comes back as well. Oh, the culprit is fine for the side bizzle. None of these cards are exciting. The guild gate didn't come back. Blade brand. That's actually playable. Legion War Boss. Oh, baby. That's a dude. That is a dude. You get two blazes, I get infinite siege worms. Is that worse? A siege worm is just a blaze. There's also a skewer of the critics in here. A siege worm is just a blaze that you can. Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, man. Oh, another skewer of the critics and a grasping throw? My god. Yeah, the dice rule. I was thinking that that attacks regularly. I like Carnival Carnage, but I think skewer or grasping throw are better. I, I think it's actually grasping throw, especially with the amount of like God, we're passing so many skewer of the critics, it's unbelievable. Michael will probably be back at the end of this draft. We also don't have many five drops here. It's gotta be skewer over grasping throw. We only have eleven creatures, man. Feels bad. We have so much removal as it is. We also have double summary judgment. We have infinite removal. I'm going with the grasping throw. I think you guys are actually out of your out of your gall darn minds. Orzhov Guildgate. Easiest pick I've ever seen. I do like a vindictive vampire though, especially with like Legion War Boss and stuff. But I'm not gonna pass up any more guild gates. I kinda like Deafening Clarion here. Even if we don't wipe the board because our guys would die, we still get to uh give all our guys lifelink. And there's nothing else in this pack I even consider other than Forbidding Spirit, but I don't really care about Forbidding Spirit. Ooh, Boros Challenger. Also, Plaguecrafter and Direct Current. This pack is also pretty good. Even Bodyguard is pretty good. I think it's actually Boros Challenger. Boros Challenger is pretty nuts. I think we're taking that guy. Immolation Shaman? This guy's very good as well. This guy, just making this guy a 4-6 in the late game that gains Menace is pretty nuts. I mean, I could probably take out one of the Summary Judgments. One of the Under City Scavengers. Play Immolation Shaman. Nothing else in this pack is even that good. Justice Strike? Wow. We just have it all. Thank you. 
I've been sick all week, but I'm glad it's let me catch my first live stream in a few months. I also watched the entire 15 hour stream VOD. Oh my God, dude, the whole thing. Nick, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, my dude. Really, really appreciate it. I mean, if we splash for black, like we're like missing, we're losing out on like five creatures, which means we, we go down to eight creatures, which is not sustainable. Like we have no reason to only splash black. Flames of the Raised Boar is pretty good. So is Ornery Goblin, so is Viscopa Guild Mage. Or Vampire, rather. Ugh. I'm just going to take the Goblin here. I'd rather have the 2-drop. Oh, Sentinel's Mark did come back. That's pretty nuts. And it's much better than 6-drop, 5-drop, and 4-drop here. So that's pretty cool. I don't mind passing the flames because we both have Deafening Clarion, which does a similar thing, and we also have two inescapable blazes. So I'm pretty much okay with passing the flames. I can take out take out Footlight Fiend. Probably take out Take Heart as well, now that we have Sentinel's Mark. This deck actually looks very good. Goblin Gathering and Civic Stalwart. I'll just take the Stalwart. Eh, Maniacal Rage is actually fine. This deck is on fire i would have liked more gruel gate more uh, guild gates but i think like we c i mean admittedly we brought that on ourselves i could actually see cutting direct current here just because it's double red and maybe like one inescapable blaze that would put us to 22 cards and then we could add the other scavenger could be good especially with especially with legion war boss Uh, Vigor Spine Word is actually just fine. It's not great, but it's not terrible either, so. I think Mike has returned, which means I should have a hot chocolate incoming. Hot chocolate. I guess he's taking out the Noxious Grudion. He's not very exciting. I think actually Spinal Centipede is probably better than Noxious Grudion here. Do we need Dead Rebels? I'm not sure. Getting back two guys is pretty nice though. We only have 13 creatures. Uh, group creatures separately. I could see cutting one inescapable blaze. Oh, my name is Michael McSchmeichel, and I came back with your little drinkums. Everything all right? Yeah. We got here a little tall peppermint hot chocolate at register four. This is our deck. So far. Hmm. Where's the... Why is it so low? I don't know. 
I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's pretty low. This is how the hot chocolate came. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look how low that is. <laughs> that's weird. There's also no like whipped cream, and it doesn't even taste like there's very much chocolate in there. It's very strange. They were pretty busy, so. So what, they just couldn't. They didn't have enough time to put more milk in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean? Look how low that is, dude. I wonder. Like, I have to actually tilt the cup just so you can see the the milk. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty normal. That's super weird, man. And there's no like whip. There's no whipped cream either. What the hell? How do you mess that up, dude? That's terrible. That's super. That makes me mad. I want to go back there, but like, it's not even worth it, right? Like, for a three dollar drink or whatever. Like, it's not even worth going back. But here you go. That's how they get you. They make it. They make it just. They make it worth not enough for you to even go back. Hunter was like, eh. I mean, I could go back and get a refund, but boy, that would be a while. I'll take the direct current out for the Undercity Scourge, Undercity Scavenger number two. Especially with Legion War Boss, I think it's pretty good. Also, we have a lot of removal: Justice Strike, Final Payment, Summary Judgment, Grotesque Demise, Inescapable Blaze. Can I have a tall hot chocolate and a venti cup? It's for my friend. Can I get a kid's hot chocolate and a venti? It just doesn't. It just. You said it tastes so weird, do you? It just doesn't taste like there's a lot of chocolate in there. Yeah, it just tastes really under... under. It just really... It makes me sad. It's just a sad drink, man. Right! The other thing is, like, if I bring it back, I'm like, uh... I want to... But, like, why would I go back there and do that, you know? It tastes a little... You know, watered down in the sense of, like, more milk, no chocolate. Whatever, I'll try this and see how this goes. I wish we had more lands. Five, six, seven, five, six, five, six. We'll give it a shot. I wish we had more guild gates, but hot brown water. Yeah, I'm just in a. I'm of the. I'm of the mind where like, I shouldn't have to take a spoon and mix it after. After ordering, you know what I mean. Yeah, mine doesn't taste weird, so I don't know what they did. Well, the melted—I mean, it's not—it's not really. It's a pump they use. They have a pump for their for their chocolate, and they always stir it afterwards, or at least they're supposed to. So it shouldn't get stuck to the bottom because it should be able to disperse into the drink. The sand is great. What did you just say to me? I didn't say anything to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, activate that ability. Take a point every single time. Is that what that guy does? That's what you do. Do do. All right, two, three. That's cool. Let's get in there. Kapow. Get them. They're basically dead. It feels weird to drink. I feel like there's something wrong with it. Like it, you know what I mean? You just get this weird feeling. You're like, eh, something's going on here. Yep. Block this guy. Okay. Considering that drink was almost four dollars, like that's what I mean, shitty. right? Like. Yeah. Because my total came to nine, and I think mine was like five something. So like, like it was like come on, four dollar drink. Come on, dudes. Well, having only one white mana here is pretty rough, but yeah, 
Yeah, four dollars, man. No, that tastes weird. It just doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, what I did was I, I have a chocolate extractor and I took it to the drink and I. Oh, that would make sense actually. Yeah. Here, try this. Just like try, just really? take it. Yeah, just take a sip of that. I can taste the chocolate. I can't taste the peppermint. Right, like, but even the chocolate is very muted, right? Now this is a drink, a drink criticism stream. Yeah, mine's like a latte, and I can taste more chocolate in mine. It's no justice, man. It's white chocolate, but it still has pronounced flavor. It's not about the chocolate race, Mike. Well, I'm not going to make you pay me back for the drink, so don't worry about it. <laughs> well, it's still, it's, I mean, it's the principle of it, right? Like, I don't want you right. to, I don't want you to have to pay for that kind of, like, I don't want you to pay for that kind of drink. Uh... I guess we just play Legion of War boss here. And then they counter it. It's also like, do you keep it and we try to get it back later? Or, or do I throw it out? Yeah, I don't get it. I think Michael Jit stole some of your chocolate, probably. <laughs> well, I wish I did, because at least that would make sense. Oh, yeah, the take, take a point. Get wrecked. It's a remixed new edition. Yeah, they're actually talking about this on the radio. I think Facebook and Instagram are actually, like, you can't use them currently. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy that a, a company that big is, like, has been down for this long. You know what I mean? I'm sure they're working on it. It's pretty good, actually. They were probably playing Warboss there. I disagree with you. So. Uh. Hmm. I actually think Warboss is the weakest creature on this board. So, unfortunately. We still have Dead Rebels, which is fine. So we can actually cast the rebels and still play a white spell which is pretty sweet you can tap this guy make it unable to untap next turn which it looks like you might do and then you take one point instead of two? Sure. Do they not have Oh, they, they reactivated. I'm like... Good stuff. Really enjoyed the chef's kiss for Appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, be sure to check out CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, if any purchases you make, you can get 5% off with the promo code FRANK5 and my uh, first article went up today, so that was pretty sweet. Um, do I just want to summary judgment this? Probably. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Starbucks donated five. We're sorry to hear your child chocolate experience was not ideal. Please enjoy your next one on us and we'll be sure to chocolate is overflowing. Wow, that's all I could ever ask for, Starbucks. Thank you so much. Really oh, appreciate man. it. I can't believe Starbucks is watching the stream. That's crazy. Also, David Styles, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I didn't. I uh, seem to have missed it, but thank you so much, man. We're, God, Starbucks. I what what a what a time to be alive, man. Okay. Okay. So many corporations watch the stream. Yeah, it's crazy. Mr. Starbucks is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just play this guy. Oh, a 2 5, eh? Well, see you later.
This guy's five? That's pretty good. Okay, well. So one, two, three, four. I can actually just mentor onto this, then they block here. But then we could kill it with the... Yeah, so let's do that. It's a two for one though. I don't really love the two for one. I guess we'll just attack with these. That's fascinating. Uh, we can't kill that guy, so we'll just actually kill it. Mm, that was pretty fine. Shut up and take my money. Danny B, five hot chocolate bucks. Mike, as it's your birthday, just get Frank a new better one. <laughs> that is a good birthday. Wow, wait, what just happened? Oh, they quasi-duplicated their guy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. I mean... It still feels pretty okay. One, two, and we can just do this. Attack with these guys, mentor onto this. So now they're gonna block, we're gonna just a strike and then we're gonna get back Legion War Boss and the Blade Mentor, sure. So next turn we just, I guess they have Vigilance. That's sad. 3-3? Three, three? What does that even mean? Oh, I guess we just win this game. I mean, I guess we just attack for 3 and then kill them with Legion War Boss. Or uh, Legion Guild Mage, rather. Um... Hmm, what seems good against them? Direct current did seem pretty good. Mike, you look too serious for my coworker. Cheer up. Tell your coworker to go suck it. Tell your coworker to go suck it. I'm sure that won't have any problems for you at your business. No problems for you at your business. <laughs> Mike B, 20, 2019. I will keep this hand. That was a good draw. A good draw, if you will. You familiar with that? Yeah, that's what I thought. What? Why don't you stop yelling at people? What? That was probably that was probably good. That was good for viewership. He just screams and all he does is fall asleep and, and on stream and scream into the mic. I scream because I'm tired, you know, I'm crabby, so. Is that why? Yeah. No, what? I did, no, it's not. And I don't usually scream into the microphone. But why did you scream into it this time, then? Because it, for the bit. What bit? The the biddies. For the biddies? <laughs> he, like, he made himself laugh. He's having a good time, he is. No blocks, my dude. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I guess we're just going to run out one of these jobby boys. Are you okay? Kirkland Signature. I work a in an office, and I Shut do fraud and support. Money. Hipster police. What are you doing drinking Starbucks coffee? Either shave the beard or start drinking wood-fire roasted Guatemalan hand-pressed espresso late? Do you mean lattes? Late. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know which one Kirkland Signature is. I don't know which one of the draft boys Kirkland Signature actually is. I also don't know what they're going to cast here, but I bet it scares me. Oh, that doesn't scare me at all, actually. 
In fact, quite the opposite. It unscares me, if you know what I mean. It unscares you. You know, you heard me. I did. It just didn't make any sense. Yeah, you heard me. Don't you just sack a goblin and kill that thing and then attack for a bunch? You heard me. Boop, boop, boop. Boo, doo, 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 doo. No, I want to go with the two guy, not the one guy. Put the a two guy, but not the one guy. Oh, the two guy, and not the one guy. I do, 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 do. I'll save you. Man, Goblin Legion Warboss just taking over. I thought Frank might have you on salary. No, not yet. He's got to earn it. He's got to earn that salaried pay. Maybe one day. Maybe when? One day. That's right. That's right. Oh, this guy has mentors. So we can actually attack with this legion, this Skyline Legionnaire, and, and mentor onto it. Oh boy. You gotta get those more YouTube views, man. So that way you can make an office, and I can be in your intern. I'm working on it, my dude. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They take ten here. God, Legion War boss is working overtime, and working overtime. Workout. You know that song? Yeah, I do. Oh, working for a living. I'll, uh, I'll email Rhett and Link and see if they'll pick us up. Yeah, Frank and Mike on the Rhett and Link show. We can we can have a good mythical afternoon. They bought Smosh, so why not? Why won't Smosh? They buy us? Yeah. What is they that? Bought, they bought out Smosh because they were like that. I don't even know what Smosh is. Uh, they're a pretty big YouTube channel that was their MCU died, so they didn't have like. Their Marvel Cinematic Universe died? <laughs> They had their own? Uh, he already brings you most of your comedy. <laughs> uh, on salary, he can't even get hot chocolate right? <laughs> you really done messed up this hot chocolate. I mean, it's not my fault. They messed it up. That's what you said. Yeah, you probably just went to the... You're like, hey, can I get a tall cup? And you probably went into the bathroom, put some water in there, and you're like, can you get one squirt of chocolate in here? And then that's what you gave me. And you're like, man, I guess I could have filled it higher, but oh well. How do I warm it up? Hot water. <laughs> you just yeah, you use the hot water. You just let it heat up. Semi star? What is that? Do you know what that is? I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'll keep this hand though. It's not nearly as explosive as our previous. Smosh was the name of my high school stew recipe. Hmm. I had a big bowl of smosh. Thank you. Lane the main. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, working for a living. Taking what we're given, because Mike's working for a living. You doing okay? You got a little head itch? Did you get a haircut, man? Yes, I did. How's that working out for you? It's all right. You know, they did cut it, and they did, yeah. And they did, yeah. Mm -hmm. They did cut it, and they did, yeah. The Mike Bartholomew story. What up, Undrum Tuna? I'm not blocking this guy. I got too much. I got too much at stake. The tuna that was never dreamed. I only subbed because I watched the Golden Modern Deck video on YouTube. That's good enough for me, though. That's good enough for the me. The Golden Modern Deck. Golden Modern Deck. That's from you. That's from. Uh, I was gonna say YouTube, but uh, you know the uh, Hearthstone. Hearthums McStoneums. If if you're, if you're nasty. If you're nasty. You know what I'm saying. Don't be like this. If you're nasty, get gassy. Thank you. Ain't no one getting gassy. Metathon, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 21 months in a row. All right, so we're just going to try one of these jobbies and see what happens because we got a dead revs in hand. All right, two for two. Sounds good. I'm game. Oh, and then you play that guy. And then you play that. Oh, that's that's a lot of woe-yek bodyguards. Woe-yek bodyguard. Taking what you're given, and you're working for a living. Gasty is my starter Pokemon. Hmm. So I can literally take my car to that place tomorrow and then just walk home. You could, yeah. I feel like I should block something here. Probably this guy. And then we're going to top deck a Legion War boss, I bet. 
Oh, wow. Don't be land. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's a little strange, I guess. Remember that time I said we're going to top deck this and it, it worked? Okay. A bold strategy. I'll allow it. What's surgical and paper? Like 60 bucks? Yep. That's pretty good. Paper as always. Well, like, I don't think I have. I don't think I've played Paper Magic in a long time. Wow, the price that matters. Dang, I'll take seven here. That's fine. Well, this is all very sad because you just keep playing things that I can't really get past. But I guess. Uh, One, two, three, four. We can actually get back Spinal Centipede, which is kind of cool. Some of us enjoy human interaction. I, I love human interaction. Doesn't mean I like playing magic and paper, though. I like playing magic and paper, but... You know, then you gotta go somewhere, and... It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's not ideal. All right, well, they're in top deck mode. So we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to five. But we have grotesque. What did you just top deck a sick Cosmotronic wave? Oh, this. Target gets plus X, plus O, and menace, and it gets plus three. Yeah, that's pretty good. So if we don't block that, we're taking eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're basically dead. So that's pretty cool. I'm having a good time. Yeah, we literally have to double block this. That sucks. I think we've got this game. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I guess it's not seven minutes. No, okay, good. That's all I care about. They didn't hit anything? Did we? No. Unfortunate. I'm not dead yet. Oh, I see. You're gonna... Well, I guess we don't really have a choice there, do we? One more creature? Sure, sounds good. Direct current would be amazing. No, it wouldn't, because we only get to kill one guy, and then we'd... All right. Well, that was a thing. Man, direct current seems great here, too. I think we just want to... Oh, definitely Claren actually seems like gas. I'm bringing both of those dudes in. I'll take out the final payment. It's a little expensive. Um, take out the inescapable blaze. Probably add the other summary judgment, too. Take out the exaltation. Remember that time you did something cool? No. Never happened. Wow. I was going to highlight the card, never happened, but it was too late. Ice falling out of one's mouth is cool. That's true. That's true. How can you should have got an ice drink so then you could live that ice dream? I guess I could have got an ice latte. 
Do you play at a local game store? I mean, I have local game stores that I that I have played at. I don't really play at one regularly, though. I hope they attack and forget that. Oh man, all their creatures just die to Orner Goblin. That's gas. What do you got here? What is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I kind of want to just strike before they get out of hand, but I don't think that's even good. Oh wow, that's 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 kind of what we were hoping for. I kind of want to just sack this guy to the Undercity Scavenger, and then set up a sick Deafening Clarion next turn. That seems pretty good. Um, bottom you. Yeah, I can put that on top. We're really going all in on this this Undercity Scavenger here. What is the white glare on top of my shoulder? That is where the light is breaking through the green screen. Got to break through. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Yeah. And all his toys went away. Well, they always have something, don't they? I want to live in a world where you just don't have it. Well, it's not this one, I guess. Well, they have three cards. We have three removal spells. So. Oh, a little crater maker. Got him. Clarion, those deafens. I don't think that's. I don't think that works. Oh, a little ornery goblin. A goblin. I mean, I can't see a reason not to do this. It's a lot of lands. We have fourteen creatures in our deck. We've drawn two of them. 12 creatures and 27 cards. That means 50% of the creatures in our deck. Uh, or we have a 50, almost a 50% chance to draw a creature is what I was saying. And we did, so that's pretty cool. So now this guy just has to deal 18 more damage. And then we win. Is that all? Okay. Gorgonzola. You got it. Pitiless Gorgonzola. Another Legion Sky Knight? Sky Knight Legionnaire? No. No. We did. We deafened their clarions. Hey, little Michael. No blocks. Why do they have so many death touchers? It's kind of ridiculous. It was like I was like we're gonna draw dead rebels. I know it. Actually, we've got two creatures in there though. It's actually fine. I should have said dead rebels because I knew it, but then I didn't. And all of a sudden, he's Mister English. I'm not sure that's what did it. Uh, one, two. Let's. Dead Rebels, cast Smack to cast Red and Black. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can still keep up Summary and Justice Strike. Quick question, what's your favorite Huey Lewis song? Uh, it might be Power of Love, just because it has a lot of strong connection to Back to the Future for me. Which is a cool movie. And a movie I enjoy a lot. Um, Yeah, you got it. I'll take all that. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's a spinal centipede. Hey man, you ever seen a spinal centipede in real life? No. No, I don't want to. Hip to B square. Burn. Burn, 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 burn. Hip to B square is also pretty good. I want to play this just because it lets us keep up judgment and justice strike. Summary justice strike. Oh, it's a Wojek bodyguard. That's what your mom is. My mom is a Wojek bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, liter I literally had no idea. Literally had no idea. Do I just play this guy as a 3-3 three, three, or do I sack this guy and do a thing? I don't think I do either, to be quite honest. Because next turn I can actually sack this guy to make this guy 3-3, three, three, and then we just have a faster clock by one turn. Mock Simon 200 paper? Jeez. Jeez is right. Jeez. Cheese is right. Cheese Louise. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You'll be fine or you are fine? Both. Both. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yep. I just don't actually care about these guys. All right, well, now they're getting more annoying. Uh, day nine is much more well known. I don't know. Yeah, you, you got me. I mean, I love Sean. Sean's great, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He has a larger audience. If you got a cold hot chocolate, would it just be chocolate milk? Yes. Knew it. There's a lot of lands. You are correct. I know. I will not sacrifice another dude because that's not where we want to be. Uh, Sean had a huge, huge audience way before Geek and Sundry. Sean has hundreds of thousands of Twitter followers because he's a huge StarCraft pro. Three cards in hand? Do I want to go to seven here? Sure. I'll kill this guy. Do you think they could ever do a draft that sort of combines all the Ravnica sets? Not really, because they're not really meant to be played differently, like together. Like, I mean, from the same block they are, but, like, outside of that, it's... They're not really meant to be combined. They're designed with each other in mind, with the independent sets in mind. Yeah, that's how Sean... That's how Sean became who he is. Like, that's how Day9 became who he is. Uh, he was a well-known StarCraft pro, and then he became a StarCraft commentator. All right. We did it. Hooray. Take Heart could actually be good, gaining a bunch of life, but... Footlight Fiend also seems pretty good in this matchup, comically. Footlight Fiend seems to trade with everything they have. Michael. Michael. Yes. 
all for guests to do to get day on numbers to get it on the ground floor of StarCraft casting. Easy. Yeah, I I don't know what the problem is. Did you say yes? Mm-hmm. Why? Why not? You bought up or topped that guy? I topped that guy. Well done. Thank you. Top your face. When 3 0 last FNM with Esper. Nicely done. Nicely done. We're all very proud of you, Neon Tokyo Rain, if that is your real name. I doubt Where's it. Where's the is. rain part coming from? That's It came from his old name that he changed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> why, why am I here? Why do I talk to you? Why, why am I why here? And why do I talk to you? Well, I can tell you the answer to some of these things. You're here. Because you're a dummy. And you talk to me because you're a dummy. Clearly. Got him. Who do I block? Who do I block? Gonna block this guy. That's who I block. Doesn't matter. They all have death touch. Well, the light, this doesn't have death. Oh, they missed the land drop? Yuck. 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 Oh, that's lifeline. Not death touch. My bad. It is your bad. My bad. Oh, my bad. It is your bad. What's he like? It's not important. Strawberry man. Strawberry man. Strawberry man. Doing the things that a strawberry can. What's he like? <laughs> what, what exactly does a strawberry do that <laughs> that I can't do currently? What can I do? I've got to I meant to attack with that spirit. I even clicked it, but I I guess I hit out of the hit the hit box. My favorite part of the stream is when Mike has an existential crisis because Frank is teasing. Why am I here? What am I doing with my <laughs> life? All these children might seem very bad. They seem not good. But man, they're keeping them in a healthy life total. No, Michael. Yeah, they are. No, Michael. He's going to attack back for four lifelink. Michael, listen. We're basically dead. Michael McSchmeichel. I want a red mana or I guess just a red mana is what I want here. I'm going to sack this gentleman. I don't want either of these cards. Sack the flyer? It was a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but that was three turn pointers. You know? Three turn pointers? <laughs> That's a seven turn clock, okay? It's a seven turn pointers clock. Do I keep this idiot? No, I don't think so. I don't care about any of these things. You think three damage a turn is seven seven turns? It's six turns. Three times seven is twenty-one. No, it's sixteen. Oh well, I was talking about in general. Oh, in general, they didn't attack with anything. That's good. Oh, that's interesting. I could just give all our things lifelink and attack for. It, they like that to triple block this guy. I think that's pretty good if they do that. What's his name? It's not important. It's Michael B. Man. Oh, Michael B. Man. Unless they just want to take seven here. Oh, are they triple blocking this for, for real? Oh, that's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, boy. That's what's known as a three for one. Pretty good value. And bullying your character builds your characters builds kids. That's not how that works. I also stuck on two mana, so I don't care about I don't care about their reasons, my dude. <laughs> why don't you cry me a river? Now why would I do that? Just do it. Cry me a river. Oh, you guys haven't said happy birthday to Mike yet today. Can you guys wish Mike a happy birthday today? Wow, I hate you so much. Well, because I'm late, because I didn't say it earlier? That's rude, Yeah, that's dude. why. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely the reason. Well, why. I'm sorry, okay? I guess I just forgot. God, nothing's ever good enough for you, is it? No. Happy Mike Day, birthed. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. We're going to go to get some dinner later. I'm going to make sure the waitresses sing happy birthday to him and give him a little, little dessert, a little birthday dessert. Hey man, that would be illegal. Uh. 
What would be illegal? Tell him it's your birthday? Yeah, because it's not. But what if it is, though? Do you it's ever think about that? not, though. They're going to arrest you, man. <laughs> They're going to take me to... They're, They're going to put you in the paddy wagon. Happy popping out of your mum's lady bits day. Happy, happy, wow. happy that. This card seems nuts with Legion War Boss because all of the goblins you make are equal to the goblins you take. Illegal dessert. Our son looks a little down today. Take him to the Hooters. Wow. <laughs> are you ready to go to the Hooters, Michael? First of all, Wing House is much better. Oh, wow. That guy's even better because now it blocks. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, Legion War Boss, we're going to make a 1 1 token and it's going to get exalted 3. So, it's going to be attacking for 4. And so it's probably not going to die. And then the next one's going to be attacking for five and so on and so forth. Birthday fraud is not a victimless crime. Oh, God, you guys are really. Okay, guys, I won't tell him it's his birthday. I'm sorry. Even though it is his birthday, I don't know why I'm not doing that. <laughs> I like that their only creature is this Imperial Oligarch because now it just means this guy's going to get in anyway. I, ju I do need one more land for this angelic Thank exaltation. You. Angelic exaltation. That's a little, uh, it's uh, red hot chili peppers. Red hot peppies. Come on, I need one land so I can exaltation before they pilfering it. One time, one time, one time, one time, one time. Yes. Now I could care less what they take from this hand because Legion War Boss plus exaltation is pretty nuts. <coughs> Yep, just this guy. He is a 5-5. Five, five. So this is just an abyss now where I get an extra guy every turn. This is pretty insane. Uh, six. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. I don't even know what that card does. It's a deadly visit. It destroys... No, the, the, the other... Oh, you know, this? Famine. It literally gives you Exalted, right? It gives all your creatures Exalted. It's basically Sublime, sublime, sublime Archangel. Okay. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus X, where X is the number of creatures you control. MGG about to change it to... Frank probably didn't notice your continued to... Wow, that's messed up. Bird Brains, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, Eden the Sandwich also donated 100 bits and said, Happy you were vaccinated and survived day. Good for you, buddy. Congrats. Congrats on not getting measles. Hello, my name is Michels. Michels? I would like to serve you pancake. But and your name is Michels? Yes. And you want to... Okay. Only one pancake. Why... <laughs> <laughs> Why only one? You're greedy, man. I'm just curious, man. It's free. God. Michels, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel like Will, Will, Mike almost lost it there. Hello, my name is Michels. Oh, we heard you, Michels. We know your <laughs> name. <Okay. laughs> I don't know why you're being like this. Uh, I'll keep the Demise because we can actually keep that in the Legion. I'm going to put this guy on the bottom. I'll put the Demise on top. Remember that, remember that Red Hot Chili Peppers song? It's like, Demise on top! Bam, 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 bam. You know that song? I do. Do you? Michels for life. Do you have Michels? <laughs> Did you get vaccinated? Their deck's not really doing much. Are they God, gonna? That was the worst part of that game. What, getting Michels? Oh, in Grand Theft Auto 4 when they'd be like, Hey, my cousin, let's go bowling. And hey, Milos! <laughs> and you have to take time out of your busy schedule to go bowling with your cousin so he won't get sad. Doesn't vaccinations cause global warming? I think so. Uh, what you gonna do I attack with? Probably this guy. Make him a 4-6. I could also activate him. To deal even more. Sure. What? What's happening right now? He's double blocking. Okay, that's 3 damage. 
I don't understand, but I'll allow it, I guess. Death Touch. You got Death Touch! You've got Death Power! <laughs> That's a three for one, my dude. I guess I'll take a point. I could have actually played this first, but I wanted to keep up Justice Strike. Justice Strike. Oh, Justice Strike! Okay, so if I activate this guy, give him Menace. Uh, he becomes a 4-6, four 5-6, four six, six, 6, 7, 6, 8. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm confusing myself. He big. 1, 2, he becomes, he becomes a natural 4-6. 5-7, 6, 8, 7, 9, 8, 10. That's a lot. Oh, that'd be a lot of life, too. My goodness gracious. I feel like Definite Clarion can come in again here. <laughs> Vaccinations cause big junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Why double block if you're going to use death touch combat trick? You got me. I uh, you gotta not gonna not gonna not gonna work here anymore. That's for sure. Um, yeah, direct current seems good again. Man, I keep boarding out these blazes, these four twenty blazes. Final payment also just seems unnecessary against these decks with like a bunch of small nerds. Right? <laughs> we have a good time. Do we? Did you know we had a good time? No, I didn't know that. Why did I get an Oh wow, that went a lot higher than I thought. That was like seventy one bucks before. Now it's hundred and seventy seven bucks. Good lord. I'll keep this hand. Would you keep this hand? No. I'd keep my hand. Would you keep my hand? That's Actually, Buffalo I'm Bill. I'm just kidding. I would keep this hand. Okay, why would you lie about that? Because I'm a liar. Because I'm a liar. You know who that is? Yeah, it's, it's Big Papa. Big Papa. <laughs> Big Papa Rollins? Big Papa Rollins. Man, it, Henry Rollins is all of our all of our dads. He was in every 90s hey. movie. What? Stop what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. I hear you doing it. No. <laughs> I'm not loosening it. Loosening it. Can I get a red mana? I really don't want to play this. I really just want to play Deafening Clarion, but I'm not going to assume that I'm going to draw red and not add to my board, so it's kind of awkward. I'm going to look up Henry Rollins on IMDb and find out all the 90s movies he was in. Because there was like 40, there was like 40 movies in a row that Henry Rollins just showed up in. And you're like, wow, Henry Rollins is in this movie. That's insane. Uh, okay, so starting in, Jesus, his discography is actually pretty good. All right, so Johnny Mnemonic, Heat, uh, Lost Highway. What about all these? Uh, those aren't like movies I know about. Though The Chase, The Chase was actually... Uh, pretty well known movie he was like one of the one of the cops in the chase so the chase Johnny Mnemonic Heat Lost Highway Jack Frost uh, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker Batman Beyond he was actually a voice in Batman Beyond that's pretty nuts uh, Bad Boys 2 I guess he wasn't in as many movies as I thought but he was still in a lot of movies like just as like really random extra guys Red Mana Oh my goodness, God. You did say discography. I think you meant filmography, but... Did I say discography? Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? He's a... He's a... He's a rock and roll man. Rock and roll he's man. He's a rock, rock, rock and roll man. Rock, 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 rock and roll man, yeah. That's the Ramones. Do you like the Ramones or the Clash better? Probably the Ramones. Do you like the Rock of the Ramones or the Sex Pistols better? I'm not really familiar with Sex Pistols. Most so the answer is Ramones? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've only heard of a couple of Sex Pistols songs. What about the Ramones Pistols? Uh, never heard of them. Hmm. It's a likely story, my dude.
Don't start this argument. You know how mad I get. I'm sorry, dude. But the Ramones are better than all. What? Oh, that's something, isn't it? That's something, isn't it? Well, I was really hoping for a land here. A landy boy. But I'll gladly just hit you for, for four, I guess. Oh, they had dead weight. That's super cool. Are you okay, man? Hmm? Hey, man, you okay? I'm fine. Fine. I would really like... Every one song is instantly recognizable and indistinguishable at the same time. Boy, ain't that the truth. I mean, which it just depends on the arrangement of the three chords they play in the song. God, I really like one more land because our hand is full of two drops. Drops. Which movie is it more unforgivable than my wife to not have seen? Airplane or Ghostbusters? It's more unfor it's more forgivable to have not seen Airplane than Ghostbusters. If you haven't seen Ghostbusters, you are probably some kind of mongoloid that lives under a rock. <laughs> under rock living mongoloid has been called. What about Ghostbusters 2? Eh, it's understandable. It's more forgivable to have not seen Ghostbusters 2. But it's got Big Papa... Big Papa Vigo? Yeah, Big Papa Vigo. <laughs> yeah, but I I think you should know that that's probably not a selling point for the movie. Why not? Okay, if you don't know why... Because why would it be, Michael? Pykel. But he's, got, he's that creepy painting and it's real creepy. But he's that creepy painting and it's real creepy. Michael B. 2014. Oh my god, dude. Just one land instead of another two drop, please. I don't know. If, I don't think I've ever seen Airplane. Or at least not the whole thing. Well, maybe you will one day. When you're not a little baby. When is the next ban list update? This past Monday. And nothing was changed. Wow, this Sentinel's Mark's just going to hang out here for a minute. Jesus. This is getting obnoxious because our hand has a justice strike in it. Can I get a grotesque demise off the top? That'd be gas. Ugh, brutal. Brute to hell. Brute to hell, as Michael B. would say. I'll take five here, I guess. What are you doing, man? You having some... some I'm having some pizza. I'm having some pizza. Rock, 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 rock and roll Mike school. I really don't like this vampire, and it's really putting a... putting a, a wrench in my, my face. We just go to three here? Oh god. I just really need to kill this. Grotesque demise one time. That's not it. Still not it. But we're not out of the woods. We're not dead yet. We're at three, we're fine. Oh, butter my biscuits. Do 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 gonna concede and go to game two. This is my problem with direct current, where I was like, oh no, I don't have a second red source. Oh, Michael B. Michael B. I think that's just a strike for a summary judgment. Summary judgment's easier to cast, and it's probably going to kill most of the creatures that they play. Tell me, Michael B. Tell me, Michael B. Yeah. Oof, it's the new. 
So that isn't even the first Teen Titans? No, it's the first Prince of Deathstroke. Keep it. Snap keep it. This is the hand that built that built the Roman Empire. In case you guys didn't know. You ever seen the Roman Empire before? The Roman Empire? Yeah, you heard me. No, I wasn't alive then. <clears throat> well, you should try harder next time. Did you ever think about that? No. Well, maybe you will one day. Never. Ne you'll never. Never, never. Never. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. But never, ever. Oh, that was a good little outcast meme. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, in New York we say, hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Hey, I'm walking over here. Hey. Do you, know, say that in do you York. think they're going to play a two drop? They didn't. Pick pick a side. Frank Beards, Punk Rock, or MTG. You can't top eight them all. Which ones have I've topped eight. I've only topped eight one of those though, right? That's a very diverse group. Oh my God. Are they really taking two? Okay. Well, they're basically dead then. I'm pretty sure they can't come back from this. Just kidding, you can and you do. Nailed it. I didn't even try. Oh, they gave this death touch because they're they're that desperate. God, what's it like to be that desperate? Well, they, they hit a land. I'm going to go right over here on this. I'm going to go to this curb here and I'll take a look. Okay. Mm, okay. What'd they do? Play, look, look at this little noxious Gordon. Noxious Gordon Ramsay over here. Get in there and do your dirty work. Do 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 do. Pernicious dude, we get it. You really like the clash. God. <coughs> I don't even I just I kinda wanna just use this. I think we do. I just wanna hit better spells. spizzles. Megabizzles. And we still get a one one out of it, and that one one's probably gonna kill them. Shut up and take my money. What? Hipster police, there has been a, com a complaint that you are top eighting too many things. We're going to need you to keep it down. Hey, buddy. I'll top eight whatever the hell I want. You can't stop me. You can take it back to Stinktown, where you belong. Stinktown? You okay, man? What? Well, just a little burp. Is that what it was? Yeah. Is that what it was, really? I also might be hungry. I also might be hungry. Yes, my name is Michael Schmeichel. <sighs> And I'm, I'm hungry for a little tasty treat, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that, Schmeichel? We got a Legion Guild Mage and a Centipede. I'm going to play the Centipede on the tippity top. Um, So we're going to go put on top and then put you on top of that. Man, what's it like when your opponent gets to scry twice and keeps them both? God. It's brutal. Are we the tasty treats? I don't think so, man. That's, I don't think so. That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh, I'll take two. <laughs> Y'all got any iced tea? Wow. Y'all got any iced tea? That was a solid meme. I really enjoyed that one. I'm just going to attack with all of these guys because if you want to block this guy, I'll gladly eat it. Okay, and you don't. So you take seven here? Do y'all got any iced tea for me? Any iced tea for me? I feel like we're in good shape. Yeah, man. Elk Tears, uh, it's good times. Yay, Ravnica is right. Yay, Ravnica is right. What do you got? A little, little Imperious Oligarch there? Okay. Nobody cares. Wow. I'm sorry. Rude. It's just true, Pykel. Can't believe you. Yes, you can. Because I'm telling the truth. I'm going to play this guy. And then I'm going to attack with just these two. Eh, no, I don't want to attack with this guy. I don't even want... Yeah, I guess we're... Yeah, I guess I'm fine with both of these. 
You gonna block here? Are you gonna block here? You gonna block here? Block here? Okay. This guy deals three. Dear God. Um, yeah, I'll put it on you. I'm not sure what difference it makes, but it might make some difference. You never attack me with that guy, though. Yeah, but I'd rather him not be able to die to a two damage spell or something. I don't know, man. I'll just work here, dude. Do you have boogers hanging out of your nose right now? It's unbelievable, man. Do I? God, probably. I don't think so. You probably do. <laughs> That's a weird zoom in. Because it only zooms in part of the camera. Because, like, I'm still in the shot, so I don't know how that works. It's another camera on top of it. They're two separate cameras, Michael. Pikel. There's two cameras in that camera? Yeah, it's a double camera That's camera. That's crazy. I know, right? That's what I said. I do need another land. Oh, that's a good one, too. I'll just play that. Can we get the stream in 3D, then? It's a little trickier, but... Uh... I bet we can do it. We have scientists that can really take the take the reins on that. We have scientists. Sworn companions make two one ones. I forgot this is even in this format. Oh god, are they gonna bone splinters? Is that in this format too? I bet it is. Oh god, they're gonna bone splinters. Oh god, they're thinking of what to kill. Oh, dead weight. That's not bone splinters at all. That's actually so much worse. That's like the worst bone splinters I've ever seen. Do y'all have any iced tea? So they're just we just keep this Legion Guild Mage alive for a turn and then we win the game, right? Yes. Yes. All right. <clears throat> yeah, they drew it. No, I don't care about all that. I will literally not block whatever you whatever you attack with. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, it's like got life, life link. I want to kill that. So you can win the game. Right, but then we can't activate it as well. So it's. Why can't we do both? Because it costs six mana to activate. And this costs mana too. It costs six mana to activate? Yeah, for the deal three, bro. Dang. <clears throat> this is a really awkward... This is an awkwardly incredible draw for them. It's oh, real good. God. <sighs> Whatever, man. It's got to be done. And then they go up to seven. Jeez. What's Legion Guildmate's other ability? Uh, Tap a creature. Tap another creature. Y'all got any iced tea? I guess you can always just tap down whatever they attack with from that thing. Well, if they attack with it, then we can't tap it down. You see. I guess when they go to combat, you tap down the life linker because that's the only one that matters. Gonna attack with this fat boy. B -b 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 what happened to Mike A? I don't know what that. I don't know who that is. Mike A. Hey, Mike A. Okay. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, nope. Okay. This guy. Is nope. that your Watu? Hey, Sabalba. <laughs> <coughs> is that your Sabalba? Unexpected Watu. <laughs> All, aren't all Watus expected? I mean, if we can just eat a guy every turn, I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four. We can't also tap a thing down, so we're going to have to wait to play Undercity Scavenger. <clears throat> hey, Sabalba. What are you doing with your life? Well, that's a good one. We're just going to have to tap your lifey boy. This card is actually impressing me. Oh, they didn't attack at all? Oh, wow. 
I would have for sure thrown this guy out there. Yep, that's fine. That makes me an easy easy sacrifice for this guy. Oh, that's interesting. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's actually great. Actually, we'll probably kill this first. <clears throat> Maybe. What's the ability? Sacrifice two other creatures, any number of target players, each lose. Because then in the future, when we try to kill something else, they'll just kill. They'll just sacrifice. Actually, I guess we can sack. We can kill this. And then we can actually just kill this next turn. Because them making us sack something this turn is not super... Uh, actually, I just want to get rid of this guy. <laughs> yep, you got it. And I really kind of just want to keep uh, the tap mechanism up so they don't gain a million life. The tap mechanism? What the hell does that mean? Hipster police arrest this for... Hey, wait a minute, buddy. Are you the hipster police? Or did you just give yourself away? Like the Red Hot Chili Peppers? They gave it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Exactly. He knows what's up. Five five, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Ill-gotten inheritance. Sure. Can I kill That's you this annoying. turn? You're annoying. Got him. Wow. Got him. Wow. Got him. One, two, three. We can discard Oligarch. Play Undercity Scavenge. This card has been surprisingly problematic as a 2-3. I am not thrilled about it. Also, just attack with this guy and activate, and then play an oligarch. But then this guy gets in there. I think we just have to kill this card. Light up the stage seems good. Planes does not. So we'll keep the light up the stage. Light up the stage. Man, remember when we were like two turns away and then they top decked Angelic Exaltation? That was pretty good. Now they get their other stupid enchantment to gain them life. Yep. It's a real good situation. Pitiless Pontiff, sure. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice to have all these things. To still have all these, as it were. Just gonna cast it now. Swamp. Yep, this is actually an insane draw. Yeah, I don't think we can keep up with both the enchantments. No, they can just sack whatever they want whenever they want with this guy and also kills everything we have. Like, it's pretty disgusting. Casper Dix, what's going on, buddy? Wow, I felt like this deck was definitely a 3-0, but... Like, this was the most timely and like card you could have ever drawn. And, like, us not having an answer to this guy while it's on board is pretty bad. Like, this is why we boarded in Summary Judgment and, uh... Oh, an 8-7, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Tch, just 
a joke. <laughs> sure, you got it. Just never, never don't have any bomb. Just never, never don't have any. Every draw, they had like a bomb. Yeah, it's like I don't remember the last time they actually drew a land. Either way, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And I'm not leaving if you're watching us on Twitch. Uh, but also check out uh, CoolStuffInc.com. You can use code FRANK5 to get 5% off your order. You can also go to Mana Traders. And if you use the link in the description below, if you're going to get any of the subscriptions uh, that help you borrow cards or, uh, you know, physical or digital Magic Online cards, uh, you get 20% off the first three months, which is pretty sweet. So definitely, definitely... Uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, last thing is MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out as well. Uh, do me a favor. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.